You're watching Talk Talk, presented by United Auto Sales. And welcome back. The Gamecocks now have to move on and get ready for UCF. Central Florida coming in. They have a lot of injuries beat up. They're not really good. Matter of fact, they lost to uh, Furman, I believe. So I'm thinking the Gamecocks going to have an easy time to get back to 500. That game high noon on ESPNU on Saturday. Now, that being said, real quickly, I'm going to go to my keys to the game for the Gamecocks to beat UCF. Rachel, take me to the full screen. There we go. Number one, something Ray Tanner always said with the baseball team when they lose a game, you got to flush it. You got to put it behind you. You got to let it go down the toilet and move on. Don't worry about it. Don't look at it no more. Game over, game done. You got to get past all the, the talk that's going around, unfortunately, now about coaching changes. Seats where have been fired. You can't deal with that. Number two, the coaches must coach better. I'm agreeing with Steve Spurrier. Develop your talent. You got these guys play with no discipline. They look like they're not getting better. That tells me they are not being developed. That's a problem for me. They must coach better and put them in better position to make plays. And number three, I always play like this. Man, you got to enjoy the moment. You got to just have fun. Get out there, 80,000 Gamecock fans screaming loud for you. Have fun. Loosen up. Don't worry about it. Don't play stiff. Just play Gamecock football and have fun. If they do that, they're going to win the football game. UCF is not competitive. They're not. Uh, and so this is one game they have to win. As we're talking about having a chance to get to a bowl game and all that, we've been discussing that today, uh, this afternoon. Uh, early on today, we were talking about that, J.C., this is a must win. Uh, exactly. You have to beat UCF, and, and this certainly isn't the UCF team that we saw two years ago that only lost one game to South Carolina. Um, of course, this isn't the same South Carolina team that was here two years ago either. <laughs> I was gonna uh, say, yeah. So, you know, I, I think certainly that uh, this is a game the Gamecocks could win. I think it's a good game. Um, to get Lorenzo Nunez out there because, you know, UCF's not terrible on defense. They've actually held some teams down. It's their offense that's really struggling right now. Um, so it's a good test for Lorenzo Nunez if he's going to indeed be the guy moving forward. Uh, I think it's a good test for the offense in general. And I definitely think uh, that some of the problems on defense need to be addressed this week because you have an opponent that's had trouble scoring, trouble moving the ball. Um, it's a good remedy to go out there and get some confidence. But I'm telling you, Corey, if the issues on the defensive line aren't fixed, the mm -hmm. fundamental issues, if the fundamental tackling in space isn't fixed in the secondary, if some of the players that can play better than the guys that are playing now, like D.J. Smith, in the secondary don't get an opportunity, uh, then they're not going to be any better, even if they shut mm -hmm. UCF out. This is not a litmus test uh, in terms of you know how they're going mm -hmm. to do in the SEC. But it's a game that can help them get to a bowl, and certainly I think they'll win probably like 35-7. to seven. And I think uh, you said it the, the right way. This is a game that can really be a building block or a stepping stone for Lorenzo Nunez to get better, get more experienced, get comfortable with the offense. Hopefully Steve Spray would design an offense where he can excel, not make him try to do the things that he wants to do, but let Nunez uh, go out there and play some football. He usually has 70-something yards rushing against a very good Georgia football team and a touchdown. So that shows you that he can play, even if it's running the football. If that's what he can do with Farrah Cooper, move him around, then you got to get it done. The Gamecocks 4-0 against UCF, looking to go 5-0 against UCF, and that should happen right here in Columbia. Again, that's at Saturday, 12 o'clock, high noon, ESPNU. Well, that's going to be a wrap for us tonight. We look for changes in tomorrow's press conference, so make sure you tune in and watch Fox News at 10. I have more on that press conference tomorrow. For Rachel, for Amelan Penny Cup, J.C. Sherbert, Brian Hanna, Spurs and Feathers, and all of you that stay up and listen to us and watch us, thank you very much. Have a good night.